Hey, Sweeney students. Sorry I couldn't be with you today. I had to be out today, but I wanted to show you um, how to set up the Sphero with your iPad so that you can do some coding with the Tickle app. So I'm going to show you a couple of things before you get started. What you need is a roll of masking tape. You need the iPad that matches your Sphero. So on this Sphero, there's a three letter name, which you'll need in a second. There's also a number. This one says 35 and this iPad says 35. So make sure you grab the matching pair. They've already been matched for you in either the music room or right here in the media center, but just to double check that they match. And then you're gonna wanna Bluetooth them together. So you're gonna open up your iPad. You're gonna go to settings. And on the left side, you're gonna see Bluetooth. It may or may not be on. If it's off, you can just turn it on. And then you gotta wake up your Sphero, give it kind of a tap with your fingers and it should do like three different colors to light up. And this one says YRW. And if you look at the list on the Bluetooth, you'll see YRW and look at that, it already connected. Oh, and it just went off and that's okay. So I'm gonna tap connected again. And if they don't stay connected, just go back in Bluetooth and connect them, but hopefully they'll stay. I'm gonna press the home button. Now that they're connected, we're gonna to go to the coding apps area. And if you tap on that folder, inside the coding folder, you'll see Tickle. And it's a killer whale. It's kind of a funny name for an app. But you're gonna open that up. And up here in the corner, you're gonna to wanna to tap new project. And it's got a list of all the different robots you can use. And of course, the one we want to tap on is the one that's Sphero. So tap on Sphero, give it a second, and then it's going to open up to where we pull over some codes. Now it gives you default codes that we don't need. So I'm going to grab everything except for when starting to play. So I'm going to take all this with my finger and I'm going to drag it into the trash because we don't need those. If you accidentally lose when starting to play, let's say you accidentally trash that one, that one's in events when starting to play. You have to have when starting to play or it doesn't work. I'm gonna go back to motion. Basically for today, the only two codes you need other than when starting to play is this move and turn. We're not gonna get into fancy stuff. Maybe if there's time at the end, you can have fun with all that. But for your basic coding today, you're gonna to wanna to move your Sphero and you may or may not wanna turn him depending on the kind of tape that you lay down on the floor. So as you can see here, I laid down with my masking tape a simple path for Sphero to go through. I'm gonna code him from the beginning until the end. And I added a left hand turn in there. So you and your partner, every time you start your code, you're gonna to wanna to bring your Sphero to the beginning at the exact same point. And you always want to make sure that Sphero is lined up with you by tapping on the blue tail light. All right, so you're always going to want to start at the beginning of your little path that you make for, make for Sphero. And if you see at the bottom of the screen here, there's a blue button, and that's the blue tail light button. And if you hold that down with your finger and at the same time spin it around, there's a blue light that spins around. That blue light is Sphero's tail. You always want that tail to be in his back and so facing you because we're gonna we're kind of in the back as well. So the tail always goes in the back so his head goes forward. All right, so today is about failure and I know that sounds funny but you're gonna fail 20 times before you get this right. And that's okay, it's all about failing. But once you fail, pick up Spiro and start him again. So I have him at the start line and measured up the blue tail light I don't know what, I'm going to trash this one, I don't know what move for one second at 50% speed is going to do. I'm just going to try it out just so I can get a feel for what my Spiro does. So I'm going to press play, and wow, that actually wasn't too bad. He made it to almost the corner, so he, I might want to have him go for a, just a tiny bit longer, and I'm only going to move the time and not the speed. I'm not going to change both things. Okay, so I failed, that's all right. I'm gonna grab Sphero, I'm gonna put him back at the start. Double check his blue tail light every single time. Looks like the blue tail light is where it needs to be. I'm gonna press play again, let's see if that works. Oh, it was way too far. 
That's all right. I'm going to change my code to 1.1 and see if that doesn't work. It probably should. So I'm going to grab my spiral, put it back at the start, blue tail light. Looks good. Uh, I'm going to assume that works, but this time I'm going to have them turn left because my tape goes left. So I'm going to grab this next code and I'm going to make sure that all my codes click in together. So for whatever reason, if you press play today and nothing happens, double check, are your codes just floating like this? They all have to click in together. And I can change this to left. All right, so let's just see if this works. I have no idea. It could be bad. Wow, that was actually pretty good if you watched that. So I'm gonna call that a success. Let's see if you can be successful too. Remember, you're gonna not get it right tons of times, it's okay. Keep trying until you get it right. And when you do get it right, it feels awesome. Good luck.